Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Obviously, our thoughts go out to everyone that is in Florida today trying to survive their way through Hurricane Irma, including my parents. All the best, everybody. I hope it uh, ends okay. Well, today we have two products for review. The first is this soap from Extro. It's the Dandy. This is the Crema de Barba Artiginale, 100% Vegetale con Olio di Argan. This is the uh, from this is sort of under the advisement uh, or being made uh, under the guidance of Don Donato. Um, in fact, it even says on the container Consigliato da Don Donato. Um, it is a very large container, full of soap. Really nice, heavy, solid container. To show you the soap in there, a kind of a soft, tacky texture. Definitely close to a. This is much softer than some of the ones I've used in the last couple of weeks. The scent. The scent is a little bit perfumey. It starts, um, there's kind of a bright citrus, bergamot citrus note. There is a bit of like, I think it's cedar wood. There's some tonkin, some vanilla in there. There's a kind of a pretty complex range of scents, but for me, the primary hit is a initial hit of sort of sweet citrus, um, a little bit of perfume in there. And then underneath it, a very light tone of the, uh, of this, of the wood. All right, I have, of course, taken out enough to shave with for the rest of the week. I will show you what is, remains in the lathering bowl. This is going to be, I think, number 10 to go into the Friedberg Franken soap. And once that's done, at some point in the future, what I'll do is I'll shave with that soap for the first time on camera, and then we'll keep going, because I think I'll be able to get 20 soaps uh, into, the, uh, into the container. So, but before I start lathering that, um, a YouTube viewer had asked to see the brushes before they get wet, just to see what they actually look like. So here is the Samoa Owners Club. I'm not using this today. I'm using a badger brush, but I thought I would just show both a bore and a badger. So there you can see just how much that has opened up compared to what it looks like when you first get it. It is a little bit stiff and bristly, but once this gets wet, it opens up and softens up beautifully. So that's what you should expect to see. It's, it's really nicely broken in. And as you can see, the handle is still still doing very well and a wonderful brush it is. Today's brush is going to be this fantastic custom brush from the Big Shave 2014. And that is the Badger Knot that's in there, as you can see, nicely opened up. This has not been soaked yet at all and this hasn't really been broken in per se. It's opened up a little bit, um, but as you can see, that's sort of what the, uh, what the, the ball with the knot will look like. It's a little bit uneven in the sense. You can see it's sort of a little out this way and not quite so much that way. That's very typical. Beautiful knot, nice and soft, good, good flex, nice backbone, very soft tips, a very nice brush. All right, today I'm going to be reusing the fine slant. And the reason I'm sticking with this for a second week was one, I got great shaves with it the first week, but I wanted to do a bit of blade experimentation. Uh, the uh, Fine accoutrements have passed on some advice about blades to try in here. More mild blades, uh, milder blades versus something that's a bit more aggressive or a bit more uh, finicky perhaps. So I have been shaving with the Wilkinson sword blade. I used that last week. This week I started off with the uh, Kai, which is a Japanese blade, much like the feather. Shaves were actually a little bit rough and I think he was right. The sharper blade in there just did not work as well. So for today, I'm going to be using one of my favorites, of course, the Voskhod. And in this wrapper actually is the kai blade that I only used for, for two days. So I think this is shave number three, or maybe four on this blade. Let me just wet my face again. Go ahead, get lathered up. I'm gonna start off with a, I'm gonna wet the brush through obviously, and then I'm gonna shake out most of the water and start off with a relatively dry brush and just watch what happens as I build the lather in the, uh, in the bowl. And again, I'm not building a lather per se, I'm just really loading the brush, but so, there's the brush still having just dunked it into the sink a couple times. I'm gonna shake it out. You can hear how much water's in there. There you can see that is just damp. All right, I'm gonna start loading. I'm gonna add water to this obviously as I go through it. Little bit foamy, I'm gonna just dribble in some water. And by dribble, I mean I'm literally just dropping in just a few drops from my finger. If you start with too wet a brush, you get a very, at least in this container, a very foamy, bubbly lather to begin with. So I'm just trying to get a good paste of soap going. 
All right, I'm gonna add again a bit more water. I'll just drip it in. You can hear it's getting a little, a little wetter and a little less airy. There's a bit of thick lather starting to form on the side. This does take a bit more time, but I felt like the lathers in this case just were better because you just took a bit longer to actually load the brush once more into the breech, just dribbling more water in there. Just, you know, five or six drops really. So you can see what's happening, a good thick paste is starting to form. There we go. All right, so I'm now gonna take that to scoop off from the side there. That looks pretty good. Now, that's clearly gonna to be too dry. So I'm gonna wet my face and then I'm gonna drip some water onto the brush. I always try to start, you know, sort of the wet brush against the wet face. So all I'm really doing is just dribbling drops like that. So as you can see, it is still a little bit thin. It's not really providing a lot of coverage yet. There's not enough water in there. You can see as you move it, it's a little pasty, little st it sticks when you do that, the brush is sticking. And so that means, at least for me, not enough water in there. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm just dripping some water onto the brush. Really, really not a lot. Wow, that was almost the loading bowl in the sink. And when you first do this, you're gonna see that the lather thins out, right, because it's a little bit wet. You haven't incorporated the water into the, into the lather yet. Just keep working it. And you can see it's starting to even out a little bit and get a little bit thicker, a little bit creamier. It's still really not ready. It does sound different. Still a little sticky, but it's getting there. So what I'm testing for there is when you slap the brush, does it feel like it's sticking to your face or not? So to me, it is. I'm going to drip the same amount of water back on again. Get that water over the face and then, again, you'll see when you start doing this, it's going to look like it's thinning out a little bit, like the coverage isn't as good. But it's all going to come together in just a moment. Yeah, better. You can see how it's sort of peaking when you pull away. Not quite as sticky. One last bit of water, and that's just for the fun of it. Here we go. Better. Definitely better. All right, let's go ahead and start shaving. There's a ton of lather in that brush, and I really doubt I'll have to go back and uh, load again. So let's see what we get. All right, so fine. This is the aluminum slant, and now with the Voshkod blade. As I said, the Kai blade, not good. Harsh and a little bit uncomfortable. Much better with the Voshkod. I have one Astra, which I thought might be a good fit. Or maybe like a Persona Red might be a good choice.
There we go. Quick first pass done. Now, yeah, the razor, no issues. Really like the way that feels. I feel like there's just enough blade exposure and sort of blade feel so you know that the you know that the razor is working and that the blade is on your face. But it does not feel unsafe at all. You don't feel like that there's a, a risk of being cut or that the blade edge is out of control at all. Really quite nice. And as you can see, you can go pretty quick. Now, I have to say that this week's shaves have not been as good as last week's. And I am sorry to say, but I think it is in fact the soap. Soap is, you know, in the scheme of things, easy to lather. I think the scent is, is really quite nice. As you can see, that lather looks pretty good. But to me, this is really reminiscent of the Figaro, the gold Figaro, the, the oud scented. Not the scent, obviously, but just the performance of the soap. And it's it feels, in the scheme of things, a little bit a little bit thin it seems slick but not but not very slick and yeah I mean in the scheme of things performance overall for me has been uh, kind of average actually I've not been blown away by this soap at all and I have to say I'm not sure that I would buy it again I know there's people out there that love it and I'm sure it's working great for them but for me Just not really completely doing it. I like it. I don't love it. I also don't know if this soap has been reformulated. I thought I saw something either in a posting or a, maybe on a uh, one of the listings on a website that some of these were coming out in a new formulation. I don't know. Yeah, and generally, I really do like these soft Italian soaps, they really do work, generally speaking, work very well. Certainly easy to lather. And there's nothing really wrong with this soap. There's just nothing spectacularly right about this soap. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Yeah, I just feel like last week's shaves, just better result from the soap, just a better shave overall. All right, let's rinse again. That is the across the grain pass done. In terms of the razor, it's just easy. You know, I that handle may be a bit short for some. Um, I'm gonna certainly try it in later videos. That'll be sort of months down the line, obviously, but I think I'll put the uh, put a heavier handle on there to see what happens. I will 100% reiterate what I said last time, light touch. You really don't want to bear down on this. I think you're going to end up regretting that if you do. All right, I'm just going to squeeze out, not all, but some of the, some of the remaining lather in the brush and just paint it on. Scent strength, by the way, in this is pretty good. I mean, it is definitely, um, I think, strong. When I use the term perfumey, what I mean is that there's kind of the immediate hit of a, um, what I call sort of the high notes of the scent. It's pretty bright. It's definitely, definitely there. Sorry for all the technical terms. All right, this is the Against the Grey Pass.
other side. Yeah, and as always, I'm kind of mixing the angles because, you know, there isn't really a very, there's a predominant direction to the hair growth. But there isn't only one direction, so. So and that's a case where I would just continue to remind people if they're struggling, is just really let the comfort of the shade be the guide. As always, this is the uh, two and a half days of growth. My two and a quarter shaved early Friday morning. Yeah, and you can sort of see where you're shaving where there's no lather, at least to me, there really is, you know, very little residual slickness. Kind of bummed because I was really looking forward to using the soap, and the soap's been good, but just not good enough for me, really. Yeah. You know. There is some residual slickness, but it's really not a lot. Post shave. Skin feels pretty good. I think the argan oil is a big help there. Just rinsing off, it does rinse off in the scheme of things relatively easily. All right, now we just dry off my face. Uh, there was a funny comment from the last uh, the last week's video about using the towel when that shave was done. I don't know about you, but that actually feels pretty good after a lot of shaves. Yeah, if I had to, I could do like another really quick cleanup under there, but I'm not gonna bother. All right, today's aftershave and overall that's a really nice easy quick clean shave um yeah i can make another bit of a cleanup pass but i'm just not going to bother because i want to get to the aftershave the Folsom and company this is shambhala this was passed on to me by a person uh, who passed on that other musk uh aftershave from, from a few weeks ago at the north carolina wet shavers meetup actually had this for sale end of the night came and then he came over and very graciously offered just to uh to pass this on as a gift it was about half gone. This was not being made any longer, but I'm happy to report that as far as I can tell, Folsom & Co. is coming back, and I think they're gonna be, looks like, releasing the full line of scents again. Um, Shambhala, I have used once before as part of a part of a pass-around box. Of course, I didn't have the full, I don't think I had the full bottle at this point. One thing to note, I don't know if you can see the size of the hole in the regulator. It's pretty big, and so this stuff does come glugging out, so, um, I'm gonna use a fair amount. I may splash on a second. Rub it in my hands. Yeah, could have gotten a little closer under the nose there, but now this, I was quite surprised, is a actually a really nice fit for the scent of the extra dandy. This has a slightly different, but a kind of a similar citrus citrus scent to it. Um, it has a big alcohol hit. It's got menthol in it, a little more menthol than the uh, than the fine aftershaves, at least if the uh, vapors are to be believed. I'm gonna put a bit more of that on. The scent on this, as I said, citrusy, a little bit sweet, um, and the scent really lasts. Like you can still smell this on your hands and you can still get washed with it for hours after you've applied it. So make sure you like it and make sure the people around you like it. 
Oh, all right. Well, wow, let's put the cap back on there. Well, that was another Sunday shave for the, uh, for the ages, I think. Joke. Uh, let's go through the products we reviewed again for today. So this is the second week in a row for using the fine aluminum slant. Uh, yes, of course, you can use other handles on here, but this handle is obviously matched in terms of the head for the weight. Um, I don't find the handle too short. I find it very easy to use. 100% agree with the recommendation. Milder, uh, maybe less aggressive blades. I know that something like the Feather or the Kai that I used just did not feel as good. The Wilkinson Sword and the Voshkod a much better fit for this uh, for this slant. Excellent, excellent shaves again. Easy, clean, quick, no irritation, no heat. Really, really liking that razor. The soap for today, the Extra Dandy, uh, which is this uh, all vegan recipe with argan oil added, obviously associated, sort of recommended by Don Donato, obviously a very well-known personality in the, uh, you know, in the wet shaving world. Uh, this is the Dandy, a nice, light, a really, really pretty nice kind of citrus, slightly, maybe there might be some, there's, I think there's some vanilla in there too, but there's a nice high note of the citrus and then underneath it there's a, there's a kind of a low level, um, a bit of woods in there. I, I like the scent. It's, the presentation is fantastic. It feels a lot like the, um, the gold, the gold Figaro. The soap for me is, it's really only good. I, I did not have that great an experience with it. I don't find it really to be that slick. Post shave is good, but not great. Um, you know, it's just, just not the soap for me. And I don't think that I would personally buy that soap again. So, but that was true for the Figaro as well. And they really are very similar in texture and sort of the quality and the sort of the nature of the lather, very similar. So I'm not surprised actually that the uh, end result is kind of the same. Today's brush, the 2014 Big Shave, uh, Big Badger, Badger Knot, beautiful knot, soft, easy to use, just gorgeous. And then finally, to close it out, the Folsom & Co. This is the Shambhala. And as I said, these are guys are, or this this gentleman is putting these uh, aftershaves back into production, which is great news for those of you that had stocked up and been hoarding these, dreading the day that they would be gone. But look, you can start buying them again, hopefully soon. Really nice aftershave, strong alcohol hit, good amount of menthol in there. Scent on this one, I really quite like. It's a great pairing for some of these other citrus-based soaps. Um, I don't know how soon they're going to be available again, but uh, it's nice to have some sort of waiting in the wings there. All right. Well, that's really it for today, everybody. Another wonderful shave. Just so good. Well, I want to say, as always, thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these. As always, please feel free to leave a comment or a question against this video or any previous videos. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, goodbye.